uh, let's play some Tom Meyer. To, heck, right? You don't think it's putting people through the th- through too much to go back to Tom Myers after last week's episode? Are you we a fan of it. Tom Myers? You can never have enough. Fan? Oh, I mean, I'm a big fan of Tom okay. Myers. You don't know that? You don't know this lore? Uh, I do from... not. I do not. This is the new one to me. Okay, so Tom Myers, I'll, 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 I'll catch you up. Tom okay. Myers, we went to support his comedy down in Haver de Grace, Maryland, and boy, did we support. Um, but Are you in this video as well? Is what you're saying? I'm not in this one. I'm not okay. in this one. I was last week, technically. Okay. But Tom Myers and Dat Fan put on a show, and Dat Fan called us a group of incels and tried to have us removed for wow. che- for cheering too loud at other comedians. What? Yeah. So uh, we we forged a beef with that fan we're wow. not not too happy with that fan well i mean he's, he's somebody who's been doing it forever why would 20. he even you know he's like a, he's one of the ancients on the friggin' yeah. carved in stone on because the he's a cunt wall. he's an unconfident valueless cunt right. uh who's never written an original joke in his life well That's i mean the amazing. only reason he's in that stone is because he's vietnamese so let's just you know well his i mean you think he's vietnamese you should listen to his mother talk oh it's wacky That's so funny. so uh, Hack Ride reached out to Tom Myers not long after this because we, you know, we uh, we built a bridge with Richard Ojeda. We made sport of Richard Ojeda in the past. Richard came on, poked fun at himself, and now we are Team OJ all the way. We are big Ojeda guys here at the Blind mm-hmm. Mike Project. And we said, why not build that same bridge with Tom Myers? Tom Myers essentially told Hack Ride to go fuck himself and talk to his agent. <laughs> Yes, an agent that I am still convinced does not exist. Probably so. So, uh, Tom Myers now, and he uh, called us out for playing his clips without his permission. Oh, no. So, so I said, well... He doesn't understand. <laughs> let's play some clips that Tom Myers gives us permission to use because he posted this on YouTube himself. Now, I have to say, uh, I have to give us a few demerits here because I gave me and Justin and the rest of the Haver de Grace Five a lot of credit for being the first fans to go out and support Tom Myers. I don't think that was true because Tom Myers posted this 11 minute video on his YouTube page. Um, and there are fans there that at least one that yelled Tom Myers. There are people that go out to Tom shows to support him. Uh, so I may have fast forwarded a little bit in the video well. uh, after that applause and seen once that first applause dies down a little bit, this is kind of what you get at a Tom Myers show. So, Tony, uh, you said you're a fan of stand-up? I am. I am. Buckle in, my friend, because you're about <laughs> to be wowed with Tom Myers' latest material. By the way, I just put in the private chat for you guys. I just sent you a link to a bunch of um, uh, Creative Commons clips of Tom Myers. That. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Do you know about the Creative Commons filters and all that shit? I don't think so. Tell me. Okay, so if you go in the search bar and you search, say, Tom Myers, yep. then hit search, you'll see a bunch of things. Go into the filters, hit Creative Commons. On that topic, you're going to see all the videos that you don't have to worry about any copyright shit for. Oh. That is amazing. That's mm-hmm. good to know. That's good to yeah. know for future yeah. use. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, you won't yes. get strikes or anything about, or or any complaints or liens. That's or good to know for why you're laughing, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's I called see. Creative have- Commons in the filter. All right. You have just paid for your visit here, Tony. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, let's I bring talking. frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> I'm curious. Also, by the way, if you're still listening to this point, let me know. Give me a grade on Hack Ride's performance. I think it's an A so far, honestly. Give me a grade on Hack Ride's performance, Tony's performance, and let me know, should these guys just replace Craig? That's the real question. <laughs> let me know in the Never. comments. <laughs> B minus. I have room for it. <laughs> I've been in this business for 30 years. <laughs> well, that's the thing. We haven't even scratched the surface on Tony yet. He's got a, a tale with Scientology. Oh, that we'll, boy. we'll hopefully get into a little bit, but let's sure. hear from Tom Myers first. Mm-hmm. One of these days, we're we'll going to get from Tom him Myers. Eventually. Tom Myers, ladies and gentlemen. All right, A-. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen. What is going Tom on? Are you Myers. not hearing it? Are you no. not hearing it? No, no, no. Ah, uh, hold on. Ah, <laughs> it has been muted. Ah, oh. here we go. Hold on. I like that Hack Ride's thing. Hack Ride thinks I'm just doing some unintelligible yes. bit. <laughs> yes. Hey, while we're pausing here, uh, my, my girl's on the way to the airport in Tampa. Okay. Just give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Of course. One second. I'm just going to mute. 
I will remove you so you can deal with that. I will watch. Give me a high five when you're ready to go. Sorry about that line, Mike, but it, it appears that it is good for timing anyway. No worries, buddy. Um, and yes, this thing that he sent us with the Tom Myers is very cool. Because yeah, that's if, interesting. Yeah, yes. Oh, there's a ton of stuff that you haven't... Uh, I will send you the link. Excellent. It's also in the private chat. Please, sir. We are at one hour and 56 minutes. So I don't know. Hold on. Do you want to go into the uh, little mirror stuff or I can postpone that until whenever? Like, we don't have to do that stuff because I have nine clips of that shit. Or we can talk about the Scientology with Zero Dark, which would probably be better. Yeah, probably with him just because he's here and he won't, you know what I mean? No, of course. And, and you know, he's interesting as hell. And these uh, little mirror clips. Like they're they're funny and interesting, but they're uh, evergreens. Yeah, so you can we can find... play them next week or something. Exactly. So let's just get to him. If you want to end with something, uh, like kind of funny after the Scientology stuff, I do have like uh, a little sort of thing I made. It's not a cartoon because I, okay. I didn't really have time for that, but uh, I can do a little uh, back and forth comedy battle to see what it's like between you and Ojeda, or you and Ojeda. <laughs> and so I have a little okay. pop up screen that comes up, and then. I got a little, uh, I'll give you the first one just to see. If you want me to do it, then mention it. If not, then okay. don't. All right. Uh, cool. Yeah. And, but I'll give you the first one just so. I, I just went and stole one-liners, so it could be like. My girl and I were happy for 20 years. Then we met. <laughs> I come from a stupid family. Oh, I come from a stupid family. All right. Sorry. Oh, so it's <laughs> me. I get, I get what you're saying. It's me. Yeah, my so girl and I were happy for 20 years. Then we met. <laughs> Some of okay, homophobes turn out right. to be secretly gay. That I'm nervous. I'm secretly a giant spider. <laughs> so so it's, it's you and him going back and forth with one-liners. So that okay. could be kind of funny just to end the show on a lighter note, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that works. But if not, then just just, just end it, you know? Cool. Uh, I just had that just in case we wanted to do something. Perfect. Okay, and Zero Dark is back and unmuted. Beautiful. Uh, Unmute. Or is he? Can't unmute guests because they chose to mute themselves. Oh, okay. Muted me. I muted me. There we go. You're back. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let All me right. Get this back around here. Can you imagine, by the way, a one of these, just real quick, a, a female Scientologist being upset by this? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a funny story. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. Is Do you like him? Do you like his comedy? Tom Myers? Yeah. Uh, is that not the point? You know what? Let's uh, actually let's start. Let me know when you're ready to go, Hackrad, and uh, re ask that question. <laughs> okay. Two. All right. So we're we're back here. What do you, what were you saying, Tony? What was well, your I question? mean, is are you a fan of his actual comedy, his stylings, his Tom, work? Tom Myers? Yes. Um, how about this? We'll play a little game here. We'll play uh, Tom Myers comedy. And let me know when you've decided what I think about him. I'll try okay. not to react either way. All right. I love, it. I love Amtrak. You know why? Because of the quiet part. You do not. Right now. <laughs> Someone wants to sit next to me and tell me the word. Well, get him away. Come on. <laughs> oh, train jokes, I guess, right out of the gate. Oh, boy. And the shirt and the jacket, the way it's coming in is Perry. Very parish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. Let's hear from Tom Myers. He's talking to. He's talking about Amtrak. He's taking the train. Oof. <sighs> Life is like a box of chocolates. I want to enjoy them in peace and quiet. So shut the fuck up. Ooh. But I, uh, that gets. So he's got. He's got his does. people there, and it gets nothing. <laughs> That was very awkward. <laughs> hey, so, I just got a freaking chill that came across me. I'm actually glad you don't know Tom Myers, Tony. This is interesting because now you get to see you're getting a firsthand look. While wow. we're doing this uh, hack ride, could you pull up Tom's most famous joke? Would that be possible without giving away the punchline? Absolutely. Thank you, buddy. We'll play it that for. This, this is very interesting. It we'll show you a joke in a bit. His puts, audience to shut the fuck up. <laughs> we'll show you a bit that puts okay. uh, that put Tom on the map. But first, okay. let's continue to hear uh, this comedy right. that Tom just. So, Amtrak's really weird in a way because they do uh, they make these announcements at every single stop. They say we know you have a lot of options for your travel, so we thank you for choosing Amtrak for your rail travel. Like, what were my fucking?
talking options. There's no Jim's train trips. Like that, that doesn't exist. There's no Hank's railway journeys, hair and nail salon, and used cars. No. Amtrak Name is a few the more only option names. for my rail travel. But the uh, Amtrak. But the uh, that is a deafening they, silence. Yeah, but also I, I, Theo Vaughn could say these exact same words and make it hilarious. You're you know not wrong I mean? in that a lot of it is a lot of it is Tom's delivery. Where yes, if he was in a more absurd character, Oof, there's something about like, Tom that could be funny. He's like his timing is like he's trying to tell the jokes while he's falling down the stairs. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Because in a way, there, there's aspects of him that are like a polished comedian that you can tell have been doing it for 20 years. But none of that is joke writing ability. None of what I'm talking about is his joke writing or even his delivery. Or like, so Tom's signature move is to pack as many words as he can into both the setup and the punchline. Mm -hmm. So he's tremendously wordy. But the Amtrak... They advertise they have Wi-Fi, and they actually have Wi-Fi, not like Megabus. Oh, he's about to eviscerate ask, Megabus. Wi-Fi on a Megabus, the driver will just be like, "There go his comps." We don't have it on the bus. We just have it in the office. Now set your skinny ass down. The fucking bus is moving. He does That's these how impersonations. They you when you get on the Megabus, by the way. Three drunk okay, people who sir, like yelling like have laughed. This is this is like and, uh, a six-year-old who has a mean bus driver and is doing impression room? for like the adults at a holiday party, and it's like, Haha, well, we don't know your bus driver, but yeah, very good. That's good, Tom. How many people do you think are like, in this room? Where is this gig in Baltimore? Oh, yeah, you've been to this place. Well, I don't know if it's this place. It's somewhere in Maryland that he's oh. at. I would guess. Well, you can kind of hear if you listen. I'm a, I can't hear it now necessarily. If you listen to the YouTube video, you can hear like kibitzing in the mm -hmm. room, like people just kind of chitter chatter. <laughs> I still so, think you're a little confused about the number of comedy clubs in Maryland, bro. Like you, what? you no, like, no, no, no. There's it's this one, but it could be the, oh, Tony, the cacophony of them. You're a fool. You're a fool. It's Tom doesn't play comedy clubs. You dope. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> is this a legionnaire? <laughs> <He's, laughs> He's at he's at a restaurant right now, uh, interrupting someone's <laughs> fucking appetizers. He brings his own curtain for behind him. He's a, that's not a, <laughs> it's like at a home yeah. show. Yeah, no, he. I mean, there's a chance maybe this is at like Magoobies or something. But he looks but, like he's about to sell me some pans. This guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sir, but the, all of your tattoos are misspelled. And uh, where are your pants? <laughs> and here with the You're Cutco knife collection. <laughs> there are a lot of cars in the Chinatown bus. Anybody remember taking the Chinatown bus? Now, a lot of people criticize the way the Chinatown uh -oh. bus drivers drove, but I loved it. You know, the Chinatown bus drivers are the only bus drivers who can make Maryland drivers go, Jesus, what fucking records. It's always a, oh my God, deafening wow. silence again. Wow. He just oh, has, he the has. Why the... are we hearing who are these podcasts? <laughs> Christ, C plus. <laughs> yeah. C plus. I love it. On mega bus, the driver will just be like, "We don't have it on the bus. We just have it in the office." Now set your skinny ass down. The fucking bus is skin. moving. Look at the physical. That's how they greet you when you get on the mega bus. By the way, it's like, okay, sir, but the, all of your tattoos are misspelled, and uh, where are your pants? <laughs> So good, I had to hear it twice. You're a little harsh. Oh, You're a lot harsh than the Chinatown bus. Anybody remember taking the Chinatown bus? Is this bus? what made him famous? This joke? No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. All you right, want to so hear that? Rolling through it. Okay, let's keep going. We, 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 that'll, that'll be the big closer here. Okay. Yes, you don't I have that all. whenever gotcha. you are. Gotcha. I have that one whenever you Excellent. Well, let's, we could hear a little more of this guy, I guess. Like, we're, you know. A lot of people criticize the way I don't want to pour bleach was... in my ears just yet. <laughs> okay, drove, but I loved it, you know? The Chinatown bus drivers are the only bus drivers who can make Maryland drivers go, Jesus, what fucking records. He's steering. Yeah, okay. Good. Hey, a lot of people criticize him, but I love the idea of going from Baltimore to New York in 35 minutes. And you have not... I was supposed to get a laugh. I got you nothing. Get a bus that's done cartwheels. And gotten a Whoa, ten. two in a row. This is, wow. this is a deafening silence. Oof, man. Remember, 
remember, his people are in the audience. Someone chanted Tom Myers at the beginning of this set. His people are there, and they can't even support him on this. I mean, the whiff of those two jokes. <laughs> like, he just fucking swung and missed. I felt the breeze from here. That's Jesus. That's a, br a brutal silence. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. I mean, nothing. Not even, like, the first joke, you heard a fork hit a glass, at least. Yeah. Okay. The second one was nothing. <laughs> Well, that's all right. You got you get a you get an idea. To, so to know, Tom has not improved. He Oof. posted that himself on YouTube. So I wanted to play a little bit. We don't have to play all of it. How long has he been doing this? Twenty years. Jesus H yeah. Christ. He's like a uh, okay. So this is what I wanted. This is how Tom got on people's radar because the Come Town podcast, uh, when it was uh, still in existence, would talk about Tom Myers a lot, and they would reference particularly this joke. Okay. So let me, Tony, if you weren't laughing before, think you won't about, be, you won't be now <laughs> expand, expand your mind. Uh, because Tom Myers is hitting seven 11. All right. Hey, Tony, real quick. Look at the title of the joke. No, 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 don't. <laughs> no, I see. I can see it. Okay. I just wanted him to have that in his mind before. He <laughs> okay. You guys are really front loading this thing for me. It's going to be good. Baltimore's own comedian, Tom Myers. Love comedian Tom Myers. Going to do some stand up Tom Myers. Hey, Tom. Love comedian Tom Myers. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Opener, too. How are you guys doing tonight? Everybody having a good what time so far? What the fuck is this? Yeah. yeah, I'm in kind of a weird mood myself. I was on my way down here. I stopped at a convenience store. I'm waiting in line to pay, and the guy in front of me puts down a dozen donuts, two big bags of Doritos, one of those cheapo one-gallon bottles of the generic brand Fruit Punch, and a nasty, old, rotting banana. And he turns to the clerk and says to him, my girlfriend just had an operation. She can only eat certain things. I look at him, I look at him and I go, yeah, right. What, did she have a bong hit transplant? Oh, <laughs> Tony, I don't hear that. <laughs> it is the joke of the century, and you know it, Tony. I mean, bong hit I, transplant. Don't you get I'll, it? I'll say he t he took the long way around to get to that one, but yeah. Oof. Yeah. Uh, he didn't. And are you you're, you're saying he didn't list enough items that were on the counter, right? That's what you. Mean? I think there were a few more things there that he left out. I think there were a couple hot dogs and maybe a uh, you know cookies. Now, Tony, as a stoner, do you ever go for rotten bananas or old bananas or overripe bananas? That is the weirdest thing I have ever heard. I would never buy an overripe banana unless it was the last one, and I knew I was making a smoothie within the next hour. Well, that's how Tom looks at the world. Is like, oh. St you must be stoned so you'll eat whatever, even if it's a dirty old rotting banana, because being high means you're incapacitated, essentially. What if, and, you know, who's to say that she was going to eat the banana? Maybe it's just to keep her throat open. That's true. Well, she has a diet and she can only eat certain things. I don't know if you heard that part. But... <laughs> All right. Well, she so... can only eat certain things, but who knows what the banana was being used for? I mean, bananas are nefarious. 